Hello, this is Yolanda with Entrepreneurs Connect. I just wanted to come by for a little bit and just share with you some things that I have been having conversations about with clients and with friends and with uh, uh, organizations that I'm working with. And that is time management. Using our time in a way that we're able to manage all the tasks that we're working on. You know, one of the things that I see that that a lot of times we are we're not doing well with our time management because we're not refreshing ourselves. We we're not taking time to refresh so that we're we're giving out of a place uh, 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 of where we have been refreshed, and we're not giving out of a place of of, of emptiness. And and sometimes when we begin to give out of that empty place, we're not giving our best. But, and part of that is because we've, we've not spent time with taking care of ourselves and refreshing ourselves and also over committing. Sometimes we think the more things we say yes to makes us better, but it actually make, doesn't make us better. It makes us really not be able to spend our time wisely. And so I want to come by and just talk a little bit about some of the things that we can be doing and that I do because we all struggle with with time management because we have we're, we're all working on a lot of things if you're a solopreneur I work with a lot of entrepreneurs and solopreneurs and small businesses and there's so much to do and not enough time and not enough staff and so that's why it's really important to have some tools in place whether you're using your calendar whether you're using notes whether you're using Basecamp where you whatever platform or tools you're using that you're using them in a way that is going to help you manage your time the best. And so one of the things I want to encourage you to do is prioritize what's important. What is that thing that you have to get done in order for other things to get done? And, and that is the thing you have to complete first. And so you, you have to decide first, what is a priority for me to get done in order for me to accomplish that bigger goal that I have set for myself by the end of 2017. So what is that for you? So determine what that is for you. And so after after you have determined that, you have to decide to not believe that you always have to say yes. Always tell people that no is not a bad word. No is actually good and it keeps you focused on the things that you have in front of you because uh, sometimes we're saying yes to things that we really don't have the time to do. And so we begin to overcommit and underdeliver. And at the end of the day, it just makes you look like you're not prepared and you don't have the skills to actually do the job and when you actually do. So learn to say no to some things in order to get more things done. So say with me, no, I can't do that right now. So begin to look at those things that are important and knowing those things that you should say no to and those things that you should say yes to. And everything is not a yes. And so remember that and be comfortable when someone comes to you, even if it's something you can do or you love to do, but you know what you have on your plate, decide on that day that you will say no to that and say, maybe I can do it later. Even if it's your boss, let him understand what all you're working on and that you may not be able to give your best work because you're, you're loaded with other things, but begin to feel comfortable with saying no and being able to get more done with what you're working on. And then one of the other things is don't allow other people's crisis to be your crisis. A lot of times if you're working in an office or you're working with clients or you're working or in coaching sessions, you're allowing other people's crisis to become your crisis and it knocks you off task with what you're needing to get completed because you're working with them on some things that they're laid on because they did not prioritize and did not, did not manage their time wisely. So don't allow other people's crisis to become your crisis. And, and the way that you get through with that is that you stop them as they begin to, 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 to talk to you about it and say, I'm working on a lot of things right now. I won't be able to help you right now, but maybe later. And, and, and if there's someone that you're working, you may want to also start coaching them on how to manage the tasks that they have to get done. And that, that thing doesn't become a distraction to you or a time waster for you. Uh, the other thing is time wasters. 
there are a lot of time wasters. Sometimes social media can be a time waster when you're, you're working on a project, but then you hear a ding or a ping on your phone and you feel like you have to check it. You have to check email. You have to check your social media. You have to see what that tweet says. No, those things have become distraction. You need to manage your time where you're allowing time that you're checking your email. You're allowing time that that you're on social media because some of us have to be on. If you don't have an assistant or an intern or someone helping you on social media, you do have to spend time there. But you need to have in your time management schedule a lot of time that you're going to spend on social media because when you don't do that, you're spending hours on social media and you don't even realize it until you're actually done and you look at the time and you're like, oh my God, I've been on here three hours. And so setting out the tasks that you're going to get done for the week. Some people do it by the month. I do, I do monthly and daily looking at what is on my schedule, what is on my to-do list today. And I begin to knock those things off, but don't get so caught up in your task list or your to-do list that you miss managing all of your time to get it done. You may not get it all done and it's okay. You just place that item onto the next day. So I hope some of these tips have helped you today to really begin to manage your time wisely, to get more done and understanding that no is not a bad word and don't allow time wasters to get you off of what the task that you have to get done. So thank you for joining me today on Entrepreneurs Connect, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.